Hey guys, today is June 15th and I'm actually getting ready for bed. I'm actually going to bed kind of early today because I have my uh, chemo port procedure tomorrow morning and I have to be there at 5 a.m. So I just want to kind of give you guys some preparation info that they told me to do. Um, just again, if somebody else is going through this. Um, so I already did, and please do not butcher me like I'm about to butcher these names of these medicines. Um, I already did the chlorhexidine, uh, which is an oral rinse. I had to um, put it in and switch it in my mouth for 30 seconds. Um, I was told to do this. That's how big it is. I was told to do this starting yesterday. So I did it yesterday when I got the prescription, and I did it this morning. And I did it again tonight, and then I have to do it again in the morning. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what this does. Again, I'm not Googling this stuff because I'm going to start freaking out. I'm just going to do what the doctors tell me to do. I told my mom about all this stuff, and she's okay with it. So if she's okay with it, I am too. Um, she's in the, been in the medical industry her whole uh, work life. So she knows about all this stuff. Um, also, I was given uh, mu ugh, mupirocin, mupirocin <laughs> ointment um, that they told me to start using yesterday um, to apply in each nostril twice daily for five days. Um, but again, they wanted me to start all this yesterday. Um, so I did start when I got the prescription, which was yesterday afternoon, put in my nose this morning. I'm putting I'm about to put in my nose again um, right now. And then, of course, I guess I'm supposed to keep doing it for that next five days. Um, I was also told to bathe with Hibba Cleanse. Um, of course, I'm cheap, so I got the Walgreens version. And they told me to use that to bathe with instead of soap um, today. Um, I will say that I was skeptical about using this at first because I'm like, I thought it was soap when I went to go buy it from the store. Um, or on my way to the store, I thought it was soap. Then when I get there, I see it's not soap. Um, but it actually smells really, really, really good. Really good. It smells better than soap. And I use Dove, so I know Dove smells good. But this actually smelled really good, and it makes my skin feel real clean. Um, and it might be a mind thing, but it definitely smelled good. I thought it was going to be stink. And I got the one that had the pump because they have uh, the one that's just like a regular liquid. And then they had the one that had the pump, so I got the one that had the pump. <clears throat> then also, I have something else. I grabbed the wrong thing. They also gave me a prescription for, I think it's hydro. Let me get the exact name and I can tell y'all. Give me a second. I took off all my jewelry. I took off my wedding ring. Um, they told me to take off any jewelry. So I took all that out. The only thing I haven't taken out yet is my nose ring. But I'm going to take it out when I put that stuff in my nose. Um, Alright, so this is hydrocodone. So this would be what I will take. Um, one tablet by mouth every six hours as needed for pain. So that's obviously going to be for me tomorrow after I get the chemo port put in. Now, the actual process is not supposed to be long at all. Um, I'll keep y'all updated. I can let y'all know the true numbers. They haven't given me a time frame of how long it will take, but my mom did. Again, my mom has dealt with things like this. She has patients that has dealt with things like this, so she knows everything medical. I'm just going to follow the instructions of the doctors and do whatever they tell me to do. Um, unlike my normal doctor, when she tells me I need to relax and do things like that, I don't. But now that I have this serious thing going on, I think it's time that I do start listening and start doing what they're telling me to do. 
I'm opposed to me trying to be superwoman all the time. So um, I have already taken my bath, already washed my bed clothes. I'm waiting on my blanket to get out of the dryer so I can go to sleep comfortably. Um, I don't think I'm going to sleep with my fan on tonight. I always sleep with the fan on. But tonight, I don't know. I'm just going to try something different. Mm. But I want to keep y'all updated. Um, also, I'm going to continue. I think I can do this. Um, at first, I was skeptical about being able to keep you guys updated. But I think I'll be able to do it. Um, so bear with me. Um, keep me in your prayers. Keep my family in your prayers. Um, I can say that um, I have noticed so far that I have always thought that I would have to take care of my mother. But the way that my mom has stopped what she's doing, the way that she is taking off from work to make sure that I get to um, surgery on time. Again, got to be there at 5 a.m. Um... Like, I really always thought I would have to take care of her, but she literally rose to the occasion, and I would not. I, I've never taken my mother for granted, but if you guys have a good mother, y'all need to appreciate her and appreciate everything that she does for you. I know everybody doesn't have a good mom. Um, me and my mom, we have our differences. I mean, we almost disagree on just about everything, <laughs> but um, yeah. I think we might disagree about everything, but um, when it comes to, like, the fact of the matter is, I love my mom. My mom loves all her children, and when I tell you she has stepped up and making sure that I'm good, making sure I'm taken care of, uh, we basically moved her in um, yesterday, um, or let me rephrase that, we moved the day bed into my office yesterday so that she has somewhere to sleep um, just in case I'm not feeling well or if she needs to help with my kids. Um, so I just want to definitely, definitely let y'all know that I appreciate her and without her, I would have gone insane already. Again, we've been going through this process as far as the testing and things to find out what's going on with me for about two months now. And when I tell you my mom is always there, always available, I will never take her for granted. And I just, I, I appreciate everything that she's doing. Um, she even, I'm going to show y'all my little setup. And I guess I could shout out to people while I'm doing this process. <laughs> um, I actually got, oh, they won't let me flip the camera. Okay. So I actually got some alkaline water. Um, I bought about 10 of them. Um, from, make sure I'm with Next Level Nutrition in Ponchatoula from my friend Todd or my friend of a friend. Um, I got the alkaline water and then also, I normally keep these regular waters here. This is the waters I normally drink, which of course is the Sam brand. But also my mom bought me a bunch of alkaline water as well. They're all under here. I'm not sure if y'all can see it since I can't turn the camera around. But um, my mom made sure she got me some water, some alkaline waters, so that I have something to drink. So just wanted to show you guys that, keep you guys updated on today and if I am feeling okay tomorrow, I will keep y'all updated tomorrow. Um, also, what I'm going to do, all these things that they got me for prescriptions and stuff, I'm going to put it in a bag instead of bringing my purse tomorrow. Because they tell me I can only take like two pills in the morning and drink a very little bit of water. So, I'm going to get one of those little bottles that I just showed y'all. And I'm going to take my... Blood pressure, yeah, blood pressure medicine in the morning. But other than that, I can't eat anything. I can't drink anything um, for at least eight hours before the procedure. But like I said, I'm going to bed early. I'm about to see maybe if I could watch a TV show while I'm waiting on my bed clothes to dry. 
But other than that, I'm ready to go to bed. I'm ready for tomorrow to be over with. I know that they're supposed to install it on my right side of my chest. I'm not sure exactly where they're doing it at. Um, my daughter's like, well, what if they put it on your tattoo? I'm like, they're going to have to put it somewhere else besides that tattoo because I don't want to get that redone. <laughs> but I'll keep you guys updated again. Y'all keep me in your prayers and I will update you guys on tomorrow. Peace.